hello welcome back to my channel today we are making this yummy crunchy chin chin and it's very easy with just some few ingredients as you can see on the screen if this is your first time of stopping by you are so welcome if this if you've been here before oh i'm so glad to have you here we are making another yummy unique recipe together this crunchy cinnamon chin chin it is lovely something you can make for birthday something you can make for any celebration something you can have at home for snacks it won't take you more than 20 minutes and you are done and if you have not subscribed to my channel Channel. I don't know what you're waiting for. You want me to beg you, Abby? Okay, now please click on that subscription button and the notification bell so that you miss out on the yummy recipes that will be coming away from Debbie's Kitchen. Now, the ingredients you saw them on the screen, I won't be listing them, but there are details of measurements to be in the description box, so do not worry. Now, I'm adding in water after mixing in the dry ingredients together. I'm going to mix it until it is firm like this, then I will set it aside. Then we're going to go ahead to roll the dough. You're going to roll the dough and cut it into the shape and sizes that you want. It doesn't take time. Now I'm kneading it. I'm kneading it so that it will have a smooth consistency as in the surface of the dough will be very smooth. I'll cut it into two small portions and I'm going to roll eight portions together. This will give me the ability to manage the dough and make it easy for me to cut into the size and the shape that I want without stress. Now I'm going to be cutting them into little long, long dough and after that I'm going to take them and separate them aside. After separating them aside, then I'm going to be cutting them into little small pieces. Very easy. You can like and share this video. This recipe is perfect for birthday parties, for any kind of celebration as um, appetizer or even desserts. You can use it for a child's birthday party. You wouldn't need to break the bank to make it. The ingredients are cheap. A little flour goes a long way. Now this is it. I actually dusted it with flour to prevent them from sticking together before frying. After chopping them into little small pieces, make sure you dust it with flour. If not, they will stick together and they won't come out separated while frying. Now I actually dropped just one piece of the chinchin into the oil to check how hot it is. Your oil should be hot, not too hot, but just mildly hot. One thing you was not about making chinchin is that make sure you do not use too much butter. Little butter is just enough, except you're baking the chinchin. But if you are frying, you just need little butter. That is very important because if you add too much butter when frying, your chinchin will come out dripping with oil. You can see because of the flour I used in dusting it, it's all separated in the oil without stress. They came out without sticking to each other. I'll fry on to have this golden brown consistency stirring continuously then your yummy delicious chin chin is good to go now i'm going to be taking them out of the oil i'm putting it in my strainer or a salvet then here you go enjoy this yummy chin chin thanks for stopping by see you next time bye bye good to have you here